Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope you guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Happy Mother's Day to you guys. And even you fathers, we appreciate how you guys show up for the kids. So we appreciate you guys on this day as well. All right, Sagittarius. I switched around a couple cards. Let's see if we get some different messages for you. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, babes. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know right now? Sagittarius, thank you. We've got loyalty here. Two more. We've got memories. We've got memories here. Chasing. Oh my, it feels like time's running out because you're not chasing behind them. You're calling in a, a loyal person. You want someone that you can trust and rely on. So somebody thought by pushing you away that you that would have kept you closer to them. And this person didn't expect for you to like be done with them, like push them back here. Like this energy, it's like flipping. Like the past is going to try to come in here and chase you down. The past is trying to figure out how to get you to... Like they want to reminisce on the good memories that you two shared, but you're currently creating new memories for yourself. Like something about a loyal offer coming in here and love for someone here. Let me get the overall energy for Sagittarius, please. Oh, well, this is this blamer. They don't take responsibility for their well-being. This is someone that tries to blame others for their problems. You accept responsibility for your well-being. That's where the growth takes place. It's like owning what we've done. We've all done things that we don't like about in our life. So what we learn from it, we, we, we accept what was done and we change things up. That's how growth takes place. This past person doesn't take accountability. They don't, they shift the blame. They don't know how to, to like do the work like you do. Like they don't know how to internalize their emotions. So they like, they'll run from you if you hit them with the truth. Like they don't like to take accountability. And you're over here breaking free. You possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness here. And that's what you're doing. You're creating new memories here. Like someone didn't expect for you to break free and come back stronger and want better and be better. Sagittarius. Navigation. So this is about you navigating through life here. This is about you. Um, sometimes it may, you may feel like you're not going in. You may, things may not feel secured for you but this is about knowing that you're going down the right path even if something if it feels a little scary to go this is about you trusting your intuition and going down that path and not letting fear and doubt keep you stuck in place here so like i feel like you're having a new person being navigated towards you or this new person could be here already for some of you but this is about like finding your path in life and not letting anybody knock you off of your path here so we've got cutting ties. Like, yeah, this person's mad that you've cut ties. You could be doing some kind of cord cutting here. But this is someone that doesn't like, like the sword is down. So there's no communication. So this is someone that's mad that you are closing something out without having like a closure talk. Like somebody thought by keeping you stuck with not giving you any type of like contact, like ice you out energy. They thought that that was going to keep you stuck in this, this loop with them. But you're cutting ties. Like you're not speaking to this person. financial security and that's what you're going towards as well you want not only do you want your finances to be secured you want to be with somebody that makes you feel secure too you want to be with someone that's got their stuff together like you do and that's fair so this past person is an opportunist they go they use people to to get things out of them so this past person very well benefited off of your energy definitely did but you're all about your financial security at this time Finding love, and there it is. Like, you're finding love. You want that loyal love. You have been working on yourself, wanting better, and you know you deserve better, so that's why better will come towards you. So, an elixir of life. So, this is about you just really, like, learning that balance to pour into yourself, learning that balance to, like, put your time and energy into things that lift you up, and it's like... Being in that gratitude energy here as well, this is like embracing your, your transformation, your shadow work, death of the ego. This is like finding that magical elixir of life. And there's something here about a, a love connection coming towards you. Like this, man, it's like a very loving energy wanting to make room for you. And this is about going towards your destiny. This is about unlocking experiences that you're ready to move forward now. Like doors that were closed are ready to open up for you so this is like getting out of mental confliction that's that limiting belief system that we're getting rid of here and this is about not letting anybody keep your heart locked up this is like finding yourself and also wanting to open up for new connections when you're ready like just putting yourself back out there like this past wanted you to keep your your heart 
caged up and locked because they know that you're a catch and they didn't want someone else to have you here. So that's about going towards your destiny, going towards um, destined connections here just and just being navigated to be in the right place at the right time as well. Sagittarius. Trust. I trust that the universe can deliver what I want better than I can imagine. Absolutely. Like I said earlier, sometimes it doesn't feel like where you're going doesn't make sense. You're still moving in the right direction. So just make sure you're always trusting yourself, trusting your intuition here. Because you are currently being navigated towards your beautiful life here. I guess I keep wanting to tell you sometimes it might not make sense, but just trust the process. And then harmony. I am calm and a harmonious person. I speak words that are kind, supportive, and loving. And this is staying in this beautiful, loving energy. Thank you for being who you are. We need more people like you. So just being in this harmonious, loving, positive, high-vibing energy and not letting anybody lower your frequency. Higher perspective. I see things from a higher perspective. I realize there are no accidents and we attract everything to us through cause and effect. So this is about you understanding, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to put out that good energy. I'm going to be loving, compassionate, giving, caring to other people. And you attract that towards you because of that. We're also shifting our perspective and knowing that we deserve better. We can have better. So guess what? That's what you're going to get because you're telling yourself that. And this is this life purpose. This is about you committing to your life purpose. You have a special contribution to fulfill that only you can. So that's that destiny. I feel like you've had some people try to keep you locked in a cage and stop you from going towards your destiny. But guess what? You're, you're going towards it. You can't be stopped. You only can be stopped if you let these people stop you. It could have been more than one person for me to say people like that. So what needs that? Let me get one for a Sagittarius. I said Pisces. You guys could have dealt with the Pisces. I have Pisces in your chart heavily. You are not alone. And this is you knowing that you're not alone. Have you been going on this journey? This is about getting tapped in with your spiritual team. This is you, just you learning how to be good on your own. And then that's when like those connections will start coming in. Because it's like you had to go through a period of learning how to be with self here. And you know that you're not alone. And you are worthy. You are so worthy of anything that you want to do. Anything that you want to have. You're so worthy of that. That's why it's so important to do our healing work here. So you've been depleting and pouring yourself into others and you didn't have that reciprocated back. So now that you've been pouring into yourself, loving yourself, that's why you're getting these, these connections coming in that want to pour into you as you do them. Beautiful. And like I said, this is about knowing that you deserve better. That's why you're getting better. My breath connects me to life. This is about you speaking those good things into existence. Thinking good things about yourself. Like just... Breathing life into your temple, just finding that sense of purpose and finding that destiny and just bringing you back to life in general here. When we get around people that don't want to hear us out and they don't want to see our sides of things, that depletes us, depletes us as well. So it's like when, when you run across people like that, it's just very important to like either limit your conversations with them or if you can totally detach from them, do that because those are the type of energies that will just... It's like you're beating your head against the wall. They're never going to see your side of something because they only want to see their side. Talking about loyalty for Sagittarius. Five of Wands, man. That's a lot of conflict and chaos that you dealt with. Someone that your past person made it seem like they were loyal. They were, you know, they, they were on the same page as you. That's not the case. So this past person, like, this is like a very jealous energy that doesn't want to see you have this this love. So mm, your, your past person very well could be trying to create some kind of drama and friction with you with this new love here. But I also feel like this new energy is like they're going to show up for you too. They're not going to let this new person or I'm sorry, the past person get in the way of this. Your past person tried to preach all about loyalty. like, But this is someone that wanted to play games and, and like, you know mess with people behind your back, cheat on you. Like that's no, this is like a very jealous energy that knows that you're loyal, you're stable, you're, you're successful. And this past person is like very jealous. The fact of you opening up to something new is making this past person a little, a little cuckoo. Tell me about loyalty. Ace of Wands, that's not loyalty. Your past person is very like lustful energy that you dealt with. So this past person tried to make it seem like they, I don't know, they, they've tried to make themselves seem like they were like a family man, a family woman, but this is someone that would run around and, and do the most behind your back. Now, I'm also picking up on a very passionate 
it's a very energetic lover coming towards you. Like a, somebody that is like, like a protector energy, very passionate. Someone that's like, wants to come in and take action with you with this new offer like and this person's loyal but just make sure you're using your discernment with for the ones that are opening up for more than one option and just anybody that comes toward you in general just make sure people are who they say they are because i am picking up on a new energy wanting to come toward you and they're very very passionate about you and then of course this past person's trying to, to ruin something for you of course they are so this is like being done with this past person altogether. Like this is someone that likes to blame anybody else but their problems. So this is like also having that rebirth energy when it comes to connections. This is about shedding those old versions of you that used to show up in past connections. This is about wanting better. That's why you're getting better. This past person can't stand that something's over with. This is someone that tries to get you to build with them again. But there is like a new energy showing up here that wants to put in the, the footwork with you. Like you've been laying the groundwork and this new energy wants to come in here and lay that groundwork with you. And it's like the past person is trying to get you to, they don't want you to, they, they're trying to get in your head and trying to get you to walk away from something. They don't want you to, to experience something better than them. That's why they're trying to figure out how to get back into your life again. So this is like calling judgment. And wanting better. And that's why this, this union is meant to take place. It's like a solid foundation wanting to form towards you. Because you are all about creating your solid foundation. You're putting that energy out. And you're attracting someone that's on the same wavelength as you. So, of course, this past person is going to try to come back and tell you that they want marriage. Or if you were married, they want to make the marriage work. But this is someone that's jealous and doesn't want to see you move on to something better here. Which, I feel like this new person is part of your destiny. Talking about memories. So, you're creating new memories. The past wants to try to get you nostalgic. Of course they do. Tell you about that. No, there's... So the past person, this person's got an anger problem. Those cards come out forcefully. So this person knows that you've walked away. They know that you've turned your back. They know that you're moving on. That's why they're trying to come in here and like create some kind of bitter, bittersweet energy. So they want to focus on the sweet parts that happen between the two of you and they don't want to focus on the bitter so i guarantee if you try to bring up the things that they've done to you they don't want to talk about that this person knows that something's done they're going to try to tell you that something can be like you can we can fix this it'll change it'll be different but no this is someone that is mad that you have laid this to rest for good and you're done that's why they're trying to work so hard to get you to come back to them they're trying to get you to put in the work and they're trying to really focus on the times when you two were good like before all the bull crap took place that's why they're trying to like focus just on those memories here because this is like a strategizer this is someone that's been like strategically coming up with a plan to try to to get you to focus on the the good times that you two shared and if you've got somebody new if this new person's already here or this could be a prediction like they don't want you to build with somebody else that's why they're going to try to use this tactic of trying to get you to reminisce with them so this is someone that clearly is trying to bring something back from the dead here. You've laid it to rest. This is someone that wants you to, like, some of you guys live with this person, marriage. Like, this is someone that you thought you once had a solid foundation, and then you found out that it was a faulty foundation. That's why it fell apart. And this person's only doing this because they don't want this new person laying this, this solid groundwork with you. They don't want that. So this person could be trying to gift you something, take you out on a date. They're trying to present themselves in a way that you'll... Go back into that cycle with them. And it, I keep getting like new energy showing up. Like this past person wants to get in the way of this new person wanting to come towards you. Five of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that will say and do anything to get you back. But that Ten of Wands, if you take this person back, you'll go right back to that burden energy. This is a past person dumps all their baggage and burdens onto you. And you end up doing all the work in this connection. And they haven't changed. This is someone that doesn't like to feel defeated and they're mad that you have been laying the baggage and burdens down since you guys had a disconnect and like they want to keep you stuck in that burdened energy where you're still clinging on to this relationship with them. Talking about chasing. So this person thought you were going to chase them and they looking back and you ain't chasing them. So you stepped into your resilience. Talking about chasing. So now I feel like this person's going to start chasing you. Yeah, look. See, this person takes off. They don't take accountability. They run and they go towards another lover here. So, and now I feel like the tables are going to be turning on this person. You've got a new energy showing up for you. And now you've got a better choice than when it comes to love. And now they're going to start chasing you down. 
So they thought for sure that you was going to like continue playing this back and forth game with them. Like this person automatically goes and runs right towards somebody, somebody else. They don't know how to sit and do the internal work like you do. That's why you're ready to move forward on your journey here. This past person still wanted you to hold on to them. This is someone that purposely held back from you, purposely went towards other people just to try to make you mad. And now that you pulled your energy back, now they're trying to hold on to you. This is a very cold and calculated person, very nasty, like very argumentative, very harsh. Somebody that really got a slick mouth and like lust, says hurtful, nasty things to you. And now that they now they're mad because you are detaching from them and they can't handle that cold energy that they were giving to you. So this is someone that I'm telling you, the more that you open up for new connections, because I really feel like a, a healthy, loving connection making its way towards you. And this past person is going to try to get in the way of that happy, healthy connection. And this past person wanted you to be codependent on them. They wanted you to feel abandoned by them. And you're doing none of those things. In reality, the past person is codependent on people's energy. That's why they have to have someone to feel, you know, to feel important, to feel validated. You don't. You've learned to validate yourself here. So... This past person's got a bad habit of wanting to run towards other people. And it's like the tables are turning on this person. They're going to have to sit back and watch what they did to you. And you're going to have this healthy love connection come towards you. This past person doesn't like that they don't have you mentally conflicted anymore. This past person clearly sees that you've been really healing and moving forward. And now they're panicking. That's why they're getting ready to turn around and start chasing you now. Tell me about time. So this past person feels like time is running out. There's something here about you trusting these new cycles coming in. Just knowing that you're being navigated on the right path here. Tell me about time. Tell me about time. Okay, that's way too many. Oh, actually, it's not. Okay. And that's funny that the Ace of Wands wanted to go in reverse when those cards fell out. This person knows that the passion is done and over with. Like, that, they're panicking about that. So, Nine of Swords. So, someone is up at night, restless. Worried about what you got coming towards you. Like this past person knows that you're a catch. They know that something better is coming in for you, to you. So this is someone that, and there's something here about you giving this person more than enough time to get them some act right. So I clearly see that you've went through some sleepless nights, that restless energy, that worrying, the, what is this person? Can I trust them? Like that's not a way to live. Like that's the awfulest feeling in the world. So you've pulled yourself out of that energy and now your past person is in this energy. And that's justice. That's some scales balancing back out. This is everything going in your favor because you took the time and the energy and you focused it back on yourself and you really crave this better life for yourself. That's why everything is ready to move forward for you now. So, of course, this past person is going to try to come back and make something right with you. But your justice is to move on and be happier, whether that's with them or I'm sorry, with, with yourself or with someone new. You're very magnetic, very attractive. Someone didn't realize that you were going to take your power back and add a couple layers, and boy, have you. Somebody knows that you're a catch. Somebody knows that something new is going to come toward you, and that's definitely the case here for this read I'm picking up on. So someone wanted to play this, like, power game over you, and it blew up in their face. Your confidence is back up and running. Everything, like, you're breaking free, you're blooming, and you're going towards your destiny. And this person tries to do the do and say the bare minimum to keep you stuck keep you hanging on to hope. Like they did everything they could to just stop you from moving forward. But little did they know, the whole time that they were playing this game with you, you were still moving forward. In their mind, you weren't. You were stuck. But like I said, you were still moving forward. And now they're panicking because your energy is amped up. And you've closed the cycle out. Someone didn't expect for you to create this distance, emotional distance, a physical distance. Some of you guys could be wanting to phys physically move away from this person or have already. So... This person knows a cycle's closed out and new is getting ready to open up, and that's why they're panicking here. Eight of Pentacles. This person sees how hard at work you've been. There's something here about your progress. Um, all the hard work that you've been doing on yourself, your finances, all of that energy is coming back to you because you put that good energy out. So the past is going to try to get you to work with them again. This past person's been spying, observing you. They know that something isn't working out like they wanted to. This is about observing like this is about like obtaining information about self so I clearly see that you've been in this energy where you just like absorbing knowledge and just you know 
going down the right directions, like the path that you've been directed in. Like sometimes you may choose to go another way. And it's like, wait, that don't make sense. But you're still doing it. You're trusting that. So there's definitely something here about you just really soaking up a lot of knowledge, being patient, balancing out your life, just pouring into yourself, healing yourself, loving yourself. And that's why you're ready to move forward because you took that time out for yourself. And that's why you're ready for a new connection to take form in your life as well for the ones that want it. So this past person's been spying, observing, or they could be hearing if they're not spying on you. They definitely know that you've been healing. You've been transmuting that energy. You've been fueling your life up. Like you've been taking all that negative, dark energy that was like either projected onto you, things said, done behind your back. You've been using that has fuel to create the life that you want for yourself. That's beautiful. So this is like this very loving angelic energy. Like somebody knows that they lost their, their earth angel and they ain't getting their earth angel back. Like, man, you, you don't want to lose your earth angel, but oh well, they lost it. So this is someone that knows that you're no longer operating as you were in the past. This is someone that there could be kids involved. This person knows that they can't even use the kids to keep you stuck anymore. So this person knows that their time's up. Like they're used to playing these old games when it comes to the past and it just ain't working anymore. Now I'm also getting on this that you have clearly planted some kind of seeds for your life and it has to do with something that you planted in the past and that manifestation is currently under the way for you, whether that's that. And it could be this love that's showing up for some of you. So love, finances, your destiny, everything's lining up for you right when it should be. All right, tell me about escaping here for Sagittarius. Tell me about escaping. So this person did things to like push you away, block you out, and they did it to keep kind of some kind of control over you. And now they can't handle it because you're pushing them away and you're ready to move forward. Tell me about escaping. Three swords ran to somebody else, left you behind, left you sitting there heartbroken, hurting, like so. This past person doesn't know how to do their work. Like they avoid their emotions. They escape. They escape the accountability. That's why they run away and do what they do. They don't know how to reflect. They don't know how to change things up. That's why they blame people for their problems here. So they 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 just run to somebody else where they don't have to like explain themselves. And then it's like they keep repeating the same pattern with a different person over and over and over again. So now this person knows that. You've escaped from them, and now they're going to have to be on the outside looking in on your life while you have somebody new show up for you. That's how them tables turn, man. So this past person, there's something here about this past person where they're very, like, they're, this past person is in their head a lot, man. They, they know they need to change some things up, but they just don't know how to do it. They push away their emotions here. They'll push other people away. So some of you guys, your person could have self-sabotaged this connection as well here. So, and now you're in this energy where you're pulling back, you're detaching, you're really healing and just getting out of all that mental confusion that this person had you in. And now you're healing and you're ready to move forward. You didn't escape your healing work like this other person has. So now somebody's in their head worrying and stressing about this because they didn't expect for you to come as far as you have on your journey. They thought for sure that you were going to keep playing these games with them and you're not. And now they feel stuck. This is someone that doesn't like... This person's emotions, your past person, they don't like the feeling of like being looked at. There's something about this person's self-confidence, the way that they view themselves. They have to be looked at in a good lighting. And if somebody doesn't look at them in a good lighting, they'll run from those people. That's what this past person does. And you clearly have shifted your perspective. Like you could care less what anybody thinks about you. So if this past person tried to do things to make you look bad, shame you, hurt you, you could care less. You started shifting your perspective and you're ready to move forward on your journey. Someone's having a tower moment. Someone did not expect for you to come back as strong as you have. And you clearly let this faulty foundation crumble down and you've been building yourself back up. So somebody thought they was going to go to another connection and just... Like I was going to solve their problems, but like I said, your past person is always going to run into issues because they don't know how to heal themselves like you do. And now those tables are turning. Now you've got this this person, this new person coming in that wants that views you as marriage material. They they want to commit to you. The past person likes to play victim. The past person's very guarded, and you didn't escape your healing work. Like you've been hurt too, but you didn't do what your past person does. Like you, that's where you take that accountability, where you own things that you've done. That's why you 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 heal and you grow and you can move forward on your journey here. The past person likes to play the victim, and you don't have that victim mentality. That's beautiful. There it is. That guilt tripping, that victim mentality. This person did things to keep you stuck in this this 
depression, this sadness, and that's not who you are anymore. So now they want to try to come and and be um, that guilt tripping and be sad in front of you because you've got a new offer coming in when it comes to love. You're about to be going into new connections. And this past person thought for sure they was going to leave you behind and go towards something else. And that didn't work out because they ain't healing like they should. You are. That's why you're ready for this high vibing person to come towards you. I've got Scorpio, fire, fire, water, Scorpio, earth, air, Gemini, air, Libra, fire, earth, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, air, 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 and Pisces. So this past person's worst nightmare is coming true. You are pushing them away while they're stuck in this mental confliction where they still doing the same thing. Well, this person's a curse. This is someone that's got a negative mindset. This is someone that like literally like ends up like cursing themselves. Like this person could have done some kind of like, like some of you guys may have had some kind of spell work done on your life. Like you could have ran across people that purposely did things to try to get in the way of your destiny. And anybody that tries to mess with you, your life, your destiny, your life force will get hit with karma. So your past person is thinking of a way to try to come in here and get you reminiscing. They want a second chance. They're trying to make amends because they the thought of you with somebody new is driving them bonkers. And this is what you've got coming towards you for the ones that want it. Like this devoted love, this healthy love. Some of you guys have past life connections with this new love headed your way. Some of you guys, your past person is from a past life. You are learning from these karmic lessons. So you're no longer repeating those patterns. Thank you, Spirit. So what I'm also getting is a lot of you guys had some kind of like things that you had to clear up off your bloodline and like something here about clearing something up from a past life and you're applying it into this life and you're ready to move forward. You've lifted something off of your bloodline. Beautiful. And there's a secret admirer that can no longer resist you. So this new person's coming towards you. So you're manifesting that new love and it's a coming. So of course your past person will try to interfere. That's, that's how that works. Sagittarius. So, yeah, this past person wanted you to be isolated, feeling lonely, feeling abandoned, because that's how they feel. And you understood the assignment. You you got in touch with self, and you embraced the journey of being alone, knowing that you're not alone. And now you're ready to attract that, that right person towards you because of that. So this past person acts amused. Like, they just act like they, they don't care. Like, you know, you're hard to please, but... That's this past person. They're hard to please. They don't know how to reflect and take accountability. That's why they run to someone else here. You took off your, your armor. You ain't battling with this person anymore. And that's also part of your growth too is just letting this, this dead connection lie where it is. It's done. It's expired. You've learned from it. And you've got this genuine heart. Kind, loving, generous. Can be trusted with your heart. This is the energy that you are in. That's why you're attracting that person towards you. And if you have more than one connection, make sure that you're using your intuition and make sure that it is, in fact, this energy that's coming towards you. So you're refreshing new energy because you refreshed your energy. You have refreshing new energy coming towards you. And this is different from your usual type. This is not a broken person. This is someone that's been working on themselves as you. That's why you're able to be. That's why you're an energetic match. The past is trying to come towards you with some kind of new energy, too, but it's a facade. You'll waste your time if you go with the past person. Again, nothing good will come out of this past energy. This past person's got a lack mindset. They wanted you to be left out in the cold. They didn't want you to have something. So this is your past person's having some kind of emotional, and for some of you, a material loss. But that's, that's their karma. They've got to reap what they've sown. And you're a unicorn, one of a kind, hard to find, irreplaceable. This past person knows that. That's why they're trying to come back for you. Tell me more. You got a new person showing up. Like, this new person views you as a unicorn, too. They ain't going to let you go. This new person ain't going to let this past person get in the way of this. Somebody's been drinking to forget you. Somebody's been on the rebound. That's this past person. You didn't do this. You, you stayed to yourself and, and worked on yourself. So this past person, you could be like get a message while they're under the influence here. But this past person's never truly satisfied because they, they're, they're running from, like, they have an empty void with self. And that's why they keep running towards different people. That void's never going to be filled because they're not feeling it for themselves like they should. So this past person's going to try to make you feel bad. They're going to, like, deeply missing you. I hurt you. I, I miss you. I love you. So they're going to try to pull on that beautiful empathy of yours. This is a narcissist. This is someone that lives in an illusion. Very superficial relationship. 
So this person could have said that you were a narcissist. If you have to ask yourself if you're a narcissist, you are not a narcissist. So this is like this past person lives in like very vain, superficial connections. And you don't want this. You want something better. This past person, there's something about this person's ego. It's very fragile. They don't like to be looked at in a bad lighting. It's like they have to be looked at in a good lighting. They, they care too much what people think. Tell me more. And this past person's got some kind of battle. Like some of you guys have like an ongoing battle with this person from a past life. I That's clearly for somebody, not everybody. But this person you're not on the same page with. Too many disagreements, too many fights. And that's what will continue. And this is what your past person keeps running into with other connections. They, they doing the same thing there because they ain't changing. Somebody tries to come back and fix something. And they, they do the bare minimum to try to fix something. They'll say and do the bare minimum to pull you back into that cycle again. So this person didn't expect for you to make something, like you know how to make something good out of a bad situation. This past person does not. This past person is fueled by this lustful energy. They they have, they have share too much sexual chemistry with other people. And there's this new person is very passionate about you. I kept getting that at the beginning. Like this new person just views you as everything. And if you have more than one option interested in you just make sure that it's not somebody just wanting like a sex-based connection from you if that's not what you're wanting and keys to closed doors unlocking mysteries so access to new experiences what was closed before is now opening up for you uh-huh that that you're being navigated in the right direction and there's definitely some kind of powerful changes that are taking place that happened after this eclipse season here so embrace those changes and you are the rising star you're being recognized you have a favorable outcome you're in that high vibing energy, just staying in that positivity as you go through this transformation. And then we've got youthful spirit. So there's your energies renewed. This is about doing your inner child healing. This is about creating solid, secure foundations when it comes to our children. So we don't have our children repeat cycles that we're doing. If our children see us accepting behavior, then our children's going to do the same thing. That's what also is called curse breaking. And you are definitely in your creative energy expressing yourself some something about the way that you're able to creatively get yourself out of um challenges here and this past person i'm telling you they want you to bear the baggage of this connection they want you to cling on to this old connection here like you did all the work in this relationship they didn't even show up a quarter of the way for some of you so that's not fair you deserve somebody that's going to you know you got me i got you type energy so this past person will only baggage you and, and dump more burdens on you. And for some of you, they've created more baggage and burdens with other people since you guys disconnected. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So somebody losing sleep. They're worried. They're in their head. This person's trying to figure out to, to put you back on this trap. This person knows that you've climbed out of this trap. And they know they can't use their old their old tactics to try to get you back so it's like they're panicking trying to figure out a different approach to come towards you and this is what you're not missing these sleepless nights the replaying things over and over in your head like this is what you're not missing so just remember tell yourself that tell me more definitely that's somebody blocked you could be getting private calls and they do make these burner apps where people can call you from burner phone number so this is someone that you're still being advised to keep blocked. Just ice them out. Some of you guys definitely have family with this person. And there's something about... Some of you guys have been like detaching from family members too. That's for somebody. But there's something here about you just wanting a solid, secure foundation. Like, and doing it for like... Just not only for the children, for the ones who have children, but also for yourself and also for your bloodline. Like being that... Being that person that changes things up in your family. Tell me more. Somebody got a love child. This past person could got someone pregnant. Some of you guys are getting ready to have new children with this new person coming towards you. So karma, drama. So somebody's karma is to watch you have a child with someone new for someone here. Not all of you. And somebody's karma is that they got someone pregnant a third party pregnant and they really didn't want that that's for someone's that's someone's karma um this person wanted you to have a mental breakdown this person's having a mental breakdown because all of that that karma that drama that they wanted for you is now lining up for them and a lot of their karma is to watch you take off be happy whether that's with self or somebody new here 
Somebody's definitely watching you from secret accounts. Somebody's trying to make a burner account too, like texting you from a, a fake number. So that's definitely for someone here. So secret accounts. You're being watched on secret accounts. And you're over here happily single. You've been doing you, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. And by you doing that is showing your true colors. This past person energy, their true colors are being exposed because they keep doing the same thing with other people. Your life is getting better. Theirs is still falling apart. So there's your truth right there. So that's why I always say give it time. The truth always comes out and it does. So a lot of you guys are getting back out there dating. That's why these, these options are headed your way. Because you are in this happy-go-lucky energy and you're attracting that towards you. And you've had an ego death. You went through your spiritual awakening. Everything was a downward spiral and everything's going up from there. So, and then this this cuckoo ex of yours doesn't want to let go. They have some kind of unhealthy obsession with you. This is someone that likes to create secrets. This is someone that will try to create some kind of drama between you and somebody new here. Because they are mad that you're moving on and letting go and loving you. You've broken free. This past person's got a lot of hidden secrets. There's something about this person's bedroom life the way who they sleep around with like this person's still doing the same thing they're just trying to come towards you in a different manner because you're moving and this person's shocked and i'm telling you there's this high vibing masculine coming in here and for you masculines watching you could be going towards your feminine or you dealt with a feminine in her masculine energy here but this masculine energy is showing up and this person thinks they're shocked now they have no idea you dealt with a low vibing masculine energy or you, like I said, you men could have dealt with a feminine in her low masculine energy here. But this person's about to be shocked that much more because you're you're bossing up. You you're building an empire. Sagittarius. So springtime, getting back out there. So this is about you getting back out there, enjoying life. You could be traveling, going to concerts, festivals, just enjoying life. And this person is mad that you can't trust them. And there's something here about you working through your trust issues as well. So when we want new love, we got to let it in because when we're hurt by people, you know, and we put our walls up. So that's natural, but we've got to learn to let those walls down in order to experience healthy love. Past person's already involved. I'm telling you, this person's already involved. So this person's trying to get your sympathy. So... You've already seen, like, I look at those as caution signs. Like, don't don't fall into this person's manipulation here and run. Things are not what, what they seem. This person has not changed. Do not overstay your welcome with this past person. They're already involved with someone else. Like, they're, they're, they, they could be ghosting someone else because it's like they're doing the same thing that they did to you. So this person will continue to ghost you. They'll continue doing the same thing because they have not changed. And you've got this forever love wanting to come towards you. A spiritual connection. Someone that's going to put the, the work in as you are. Because you've been putting the work in self. That's why you're attracting that. You're like you're attracting someone that's doing the same things as you're doing. And this is no longer letting this past person frustrate you anymore. Like burned out overload. That's what you dealt with with this past person. So this past person is frustrated because they can no longer frustrate you. Somebody's definitely having a baby. So there's definitely a pregnancy here. Some like so this like could be a prediction for you. This could actually be going on with your past person. Like there's a pregnancy here. And you're waiting for that divine timing, manifesting that love and it's coming sooner than you think because it is. And you're doing this. And because you're loving yourself, you're pampering yourself, you're doing nice things for yourself. That's why you're attracting this person towards you because your 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 energy is amazing right now. But make sure that you get to know people. Take your time and get to know people. Do not let anybody rush you. And if somebody tries to rush you, that is a red flag. If somebody truly wants you and wants to connect with you, they will work with you. So something about a home life here, that, that secure home life. You could be wanting a new house. You could be just getting a new house or just that's what you're wanting for yourself. This person could try to show up to your house, the past. You've got excited times coming to, towards you. So... Some of you guys definitely have more than one option coming towards you as well. Like your past person is clearly still entertaining people. And like now you're going to be the one that has people coming towards you. But you want somebody that really wants to connect. You want a connection. And there's this mystery lover. So a sexy secret admirer crushing always wanted you. This person's ready to come forward. And somebody definitely watching your social media here. 
The past is trying to watch your social media. The past was purposely doing things to try to make you jealous for some of you. And now your past person's getting jealous because you, you're going to be the one. And it's not even, you're not even posting things to make them jealous. So just by you living your best life is triggering your past person. And like I said, when this new energy shows up, that's going to make them that much mad. But oh well, they should have tr treated you right when they had you. Sagittarius, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So something here about your destiny, like some of you guys are meant to help guide people, assist them, help help heal them. Some of you guys are healers, so that's for somebody. Um, this past person is like, they're, it's like they're going to try to make it seem like you can help them, like assist them with something, but that's not the case. Where was this past person when you needed help too is what I'm getting. Thank you, Spirit. Where were they at? Like, this is someone that thinks that they can come back and get a handout from you? No. Where were they at when you was going through some things? Probably with someone else. Tell me more. Major challenges to overcome. So you guys had a lot of things to overcome. Now, that wanted to be in reverse. So that tells me that you've overcome some challenges. And even if more come towards us that's life you know how to work through it you're very you know how to overcome challenges there's something about you using like a creative approach to get over those and then ant work achievement success the past person has done nothing achieved nothing they have changed nothing you have been working on your your you your your goals your dreams and that's why you're ready to move forward a distant friend is thinking of you so some of you guys have like friend connections that you haven't talked to in a while that's thinking of you some of you guys clearly need to make a distance from friends that act like they're your friends but they're not you'll know who your people are and who's not so we've got a fair man dealing with a relationship with a fair man gray or white hair this could be describing you this could be describing your past person or this could be describing a new person coming towards you financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past so there's definitely something that you planted in the past that's ready to come towards you like you're attracting that that's dolphins like happy go lucky just staying in that high vibing happy energy to continue attracting that towards you romance celebration party yeah you definitely got romance coming towards you some of you guys could meet somebody at a party or just like when you're out connecting with people like there's romance a blooming for you we've got february energy so that is capricorn aquarius energy so there's some kind of groundwork that you laid out in the winter months some of you guys went through your isolation period in the winter months, and now you're ready to step out in the spring energy here. So this um, Capricorn Aquarius energy could be describing your past person's sign, or it could be describing a new person's sign coming towards you. Disappointed in a friend or lover. So de definitely disappointed in this past person, and definitely finding out that friends that were saying they're your friends, finding out they're not. So when people show you who they are, believe that. Good advice from a wise person. Some of you guys have healthy connections around you as well. So, and a lot of you guys are this, this owl, this wise, like people come to you for advice, wisdom, and happiness. That's what you've got coming towards you. So much happiness because you're in this happiness energy. Beautiful. Sagittarius. Someone is leaving your life. So this could be multiple people that's leaving your life. When people get up out of these chairs, it makes room for the right people to sit in those chairs. So just remember that. Fairs with your family. Some of you guys are definitely cutting some kind of family connections out. Some of you guys are mending, you know, keeping the, the right ones connected to you still. And this is clearly about making um, your own family unit. Like something about you just really like changing some things up in your family, your bloodline here. Tell me more. Great passion. That's this new person coming towards you. And you clearly have ignited your passion, fact, passion for life. Like, so you've got this passionate lover coming towards you. Could be getting gifted flowers here. Your past person is all about lust too, by the way. They still, they ain't changed. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. So this past person clearly didn't expect for things to flip around the way they have. So... And what I'm also getting off of this, for the ones who have kids with this person, for somebody out here, this person left you behind and you had to take care of all the responsibilities. You had to like, you know, this is like someone that would like turn their back on their kids for some of you. And you had to like get yourself out of that rut. Pleasure with close friends. So this is your past person. 
This is somebody that clearly is, you know, that's my friend, that's my cousin. And when they are sleeping around, they're sleeping with each other. So something here about these options wanting to come towards you, just make sure that somebody wants the same things as you do. Um, and your past person may try to just pull out the friend card, but they are, will try to have sex with you and they'll, they'll use that as drama. I wouldn't tell me more. Purse, pay attention to your finances. So this is about nurturing your finances, but not overspending. Still doing what you want, but just, you know, being more reserved when it comes to money. I feel like your past person is very compulsive and they just spend. They don't care. And you're stepping into new experiences. That's what you're doing. You're breaking out of that box, getting out of your comfort zone, and you're ready to step into new experiences because you've been embracing your journey. Chain of events that will affect your life. So all of these people, places, and things that you've experienced in your life was all planned for you to go through so you could learn and grow and evolve from every situation that you've been through. And now you've got like a, a chain of beautiful events wanting to make room for you. And what I also get is if you take this past person back, you already know what's going to happen because the same thing will play out with them. So goal-oriented person, and that's what you've been doing. Setting goals, um, achieving those goals, like improvement with self, improvement with finances, improvement with, you know, um, wanting solid connections here. So all of these goals are like you're, you're heading them. Love, deep affection, and caring. And that's what you got coming towards you because you are this. This is what you want. And you are pouring into yourself and you are putting out that energy of love and care and compassion. That's why you're getting that attracted back towards you. And, of course, this past person's trying to come in here and do something risky towards you, trying to take a chance. And this is about getting to know people, too. Like, I keep getting this strong message with you guys as well. When you're putting yourself back out there and you're dating and you want better, make sure people are who they say they are. Do not let someone rush you into something when you're clearly not comfortable to do that yet. But you definitely got this past person panicking now because those tables are turning and this person can't handle it. And like I said, your past person's still doing the same thing over and over again. So, all right, beautiful Sagittarius. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.